Hello, once again, you're welcome. On a quick note, I am going to go through the practical steps on how to register to be an ISOC member and then join the Nigerian chapter. And then after which, I'll quickly show you how to enroll in a simple uh, learning uh, course uh, like digital footprint or uh, uh, privacy. So this is the website of ISOC, as you can see uh, it here, www.internetsociety.org. Uh, this is the global website. You just come to get involved here and then click become an individual member. Once you click that, you just scroll down where it says member here, become a member. You just click it. Once you click it, it's going to bring you a registration page where you're going to enter an email address that you will be using as a member. So I'm going to pick a particular email address that uh, maybe I want to use. Uh, Okay, then I'll click, uh, I'm not a robot. Once I click that, then I click next. So it's going to verify whether this email address has been registered by someone or not. So as it is, it has not been registered, so I'm fine. So I will quickly now enter my details. So uh, quickly, let me just uh, use this uh, details. Uh, it's a uh, as million city. Let me just say just million country Nigeria Nigeria. Then it asks, uh, check the box below. As a member, you will be able to meet members around the world, implement projects locally with the chapter. Uh, tackle issues globally via a special interest group, access our exclusive action and things like that. Do you want to be a member? Yes. So you click this one. And then I want to receive promotional emails from Internet Society. You click this one. Okay. Once you click so, uh, there's a disclaimer here. You take your time and read it. And then you now say submit. So once you submit, good. So it now says set, look at it here. It says to set your password, please start by entering your login email address. Then click the send verification code button. Okay. So this is the email address here. And then we're supposed to enter verification code. So where's the ver verification code? You're supposed to now check your email address that you have um, done. So I have seen my verification code. Uh, so I will just enter it. I'll just enter it. Three, two, four, four. Then I will say verify. So the verification code is usually sent to the email address that you used to create to create the account. So now I'm supposed to create my password. Okay, so it says you are now verified. Please enter new password following the guidelines. What are the guidelines? Your password should be between 80 and 30 characters and contains three out of four of the following. There should be at least upper a lower case, upper case. Uh, a number zero to nine, and then a special number one of this. So I'm going to now use um, okay. Okay, so I've used the particular password. The moment I use, you see all these elements turn green because my password has met the password policy criteria. So I will say click to continue, okay? 
So once I say click to continue, it's going to load. Very good. So you see, it has loaded my membership portal. Okay, so by the left hand side here, this is where you will upload your picture. And if you want to check your profile and things like that, it's very easy. You just see my profile here. And you see where it says my profile here. You just click my profile and then it's going to now take you to your profile. If you want to edit certain things, you want to, um, all right. So you want to edit certain things. You want to change certain things. This is where you will do all those things, okay? Now that you have become a member, for you to participate in the, to enroll in the learning class, you just go to this website, okay? Let me close and let me go to the website. You go to learning and you see it. This is the website, learning.internetsociety.org learning.internetsociety.org, okay? So once you click learning.internetsociety.org, it's going to take you to the learning page. So don't forget the website, learning.internetsociety.org, okay? So this is where it says terms and condition. So uh, you accept and agree. Okay, and then he, he says, hi, because I'm already logged in uh, here. If you had not logged in, it will, pro it will provide you um, the login page, okay? But here is trying to find out your time zone, all right? He says, it appears your profile is set to this time zone. Do you want to update the time zone we have detected? Then I'll say update. That's my time zone, okay? So, uh, do you update your own time zone? So this is the learning platform, okay? This is the dashboard and there are different courses for you to learn. Now, the course that I'm interested in today that we want to do, there are two courses. There's what they call digital footprint and then there is a uh, privacy. So I'm going to pick one of the two and then you will see. So you could either click here to search for the course or you will just click this, uh, this place that's it, under self-paced, under self-paced, this arrow here. If I click next here, these are the courses. If I click next again to see whether I will get. So can you see privacy 2024? It's free. And then you see digital footprint here. You can also type here to search it. So privacy and then digital footprint. So if I want to enroll in the course, I just click privacy, for instance. Once I click privacy, this is the course. All right. It says this self-paced course is running on open enrollment basis all year round. You can enroll in this course anytime. If you have any questions or doubt, please read the self-paced courses learner's guide, okay? So this is the course and it is free. Once you are done taking the course, then you can now take the course evaluation. It is when you take the course you are done, you take the evaluation before your certificate will be ready. So here, I will just click here. Once I see, this is the description, all right? And then if I want to see the syllables of the course, I just click down here. Now, if I'm using good internet, I will say high bandwidth. If I'm using low internet, I will say low bandwidth. If I just want a text format, I will use this. So I'm using good internet, so I will just say high bandwidth. This is the course, okay, that I'm going to now select. But I have not yet enrolled myself. So let me go down to the enrollment page can you see you see by the right hand side where it says enroll okay so i'll just say enroll all right so i have enrolled myself in this course i can click start learning or i can go back and then get myself enrolled in another course okay 
And I can do that by coming back here. You see this privacy, I'll come back to my courses and learning plans. I click that and then it brings me to the courses that I am looking at. So privacy is what I have just enrolled. So I'm going to now look for a digital footprint. Let me come here, no, courses and learning plans. Okay, let me see, digital. Okay, so I have not enrolled myself in that. So let me go back to the dashboard. Dashboard, so under self-paced courses, I click next. Next, this is digital footprint, I click it. Okay, so this is it, digital footprint. So uh, I'm just going to click enroll. Okay, so I have enrolled in the course. Very good. So I can start. So I have two courses. If I come to my courses and plans now, I should be able to see them. Very good. So you can see under my courses and plans, you can see digital footprint. You can see, uh, where is the other one? Privacy. There are two courses, digital footprint. E-learning, where is the... Where is the other one? I think I have enrolled in privacy. And, aha, see the privacy here. So both of them have not started. So why do you see two digital footprints and two privacy? One of it is um, the course itself. The other one is the evaluation. Okay, usually at the end of the course, you do evaluation. So if I want to take the course, if I just click digital footprint, for instance, Okay, and then I will say start learning. Start learning. And then I will select, I'm using high bandwidth. Then I say start learning. And then the course begins. Okay, now the course, uh, this, it has, um, what do you call it now? It has audio, you can play and uh, see what you have, you understand, you know, um, yeah, we can play and uh, see what you have, you know, if I click here, play, it's going to now play the course for me, but by the time I'm done, I just click next, okay, if I click next. Hello there. Welcome to Digital That's Footprints so Level 1. Your mission, should you choose right. to accept it, so is to correctly... Are done with that. The top here, you see where it says... Hello there. Just click Next Lesson. Once you click Next Lesson, okay, so it's going to load... This is the Digital Footprint called Begin Course. So, what is Digital Footprint? And then I go through it. So... I read, as I read, you see by this side, you'll see it will be showing my progress. Then it will ask me questions I'll submit, ask me questions I'll submit, and then I go ahead and things like that. So that is how to get yourself enrolled, register as a member, and get yourself enrolled in digital footprint and um, privacy course. So by the time you are done taking the course, you would be able to get your certificate sent to your email. All right. So thank you. If this information is informative, click subscribe and uh, like, and also click the notification bell. When I upload the next uh, video, you'll be able to get notified. Thank you.